Uh, in South Africa, some of the area compliant unit trusts donate RIBA money to foundations for charity. Then those charities uh, loan out that money in the form of uh, Kardhasan. Very good question. Obviously, you know, the, the, what is called the purified income of Islamic banks, unit trust, sometimes can reach in the billions of rands. I know personally of, of a charitable trust that has over 200 million rands, which is close to over $10 million only in purified income. So obviously from a Sharia perspective, those, those funds would then have to be dis dispensed off into charity without the intention of reward. So the strict ruling with regards to this is that the funds have to be dispensed off in charity. So there could be different methods of how this could be done. And one, one, one methodology or process that could be, could be effected is where the funds are dispensed off to a particular sub-charity or a charity that then you know, provides Qarad Hassan or Islamic microfinance, microfinancing loans to, to the public who can then be able to then you know, organize themselves under certain, you know, businesses, etc. So that would be a good initiative, and uh, you know, that that is a proposal that should be put forth to some of these charities, so that you know, businesses are then created, and then there's more value creation. Islamic finance learning made simple and memorable.